All right, it is time for three news now, and for that we bring in our digital anchor, Stephanie Haney. Hey, Stephanie. Hello, Matt, Laura, and Isabel. You know, we have a very spooky three news now for you today. And it would not be Halloween without Cleveland Browns defensive star Miles Garrett showing off his spooky display. This year, he was inspired by Jeepers Creepers, those horror films. First, you know, we got to check out Miles showing up to the game in Seattle. He was wearing a full Creeper costume, very scary in and of itself. And when we look at what he did to his home this year, we saw that Miles continued the tradition of using Halloween as an opportunity to joke about sacking quarterbacks. This year, he included references to Tom Brady, Joe Burrow, and Justin Fields in his display. He really went all out this year, again, as he always does. Bravo, Miles. And our viewers really go all out, too. We have had too many great Halloween decor submissions, so we'll show you a few more now. And being able to walk through displays was a real theme this year. In Amherst, you can stop by Brian and Colleen Crawford's place. It's at 975 Red Tailed Lane. No relation to Jay Crawford that we know of, by the way. You can walk through their haunted graveyard display from dusk till 10 p.m. That's tonight and tomorrow through Halloween night. And trick-or-treaters can choose to walk through the cemetery gates to get their treat. Now in Lorraine, you can stop by Angelica Perez's place at 4322 Brooks Court for another scary opportunity. You can walk through that yard tonight or tomorrow from 7.30 to 9. That is weather permitting. Or you can head to Raymond Daniels Place in Mansfield at 940 Labor Road. Again, that's from 7.30 to 9 tonight or tomorrow if you want to walk through this spooky display. And if you want to see more decked out spots, you can go to WKYC.com to plan your next two nights before October is officially behind us. And you will also want to visit WKYC.com for your trick-or-treating guide around Northeast Ohio. Now, a lot of spots had trick-or-treating over the weekend, but there is still a lot that keep it traditional with trick-or-treating on Halloween, even when it falls on a weekday like it does this year. There are 80 different cities, at least, that we know of that will have kiddos walking around in costume tomorrow and from the sounds of things, a little extra bundled up. So most places, it's from 6 to 8 on Halloween, like Bay Village, Elyria, Lakewood, and Mentor, to name a few. A little bit earlier in Minerva, a couple other spots with varying start times. So check that out on WKYC.com. And also, head, uh, send us your photos with your kids. Use that Near Me feature on the WKYC app. We would love to see those costumes. Oh, yes, we would. We know there's going to be a whole lot of creativity and hard work going into all of those little ones running around. Yep. Much like Miles Garrett's decoration. <laughs> Absolutely. A lot of creativity and a lot of work. Steph, thanks so much. Mm -hmm.